There is toughness and there is toughness. And for a period of time on the baseball diamonds of America, there was Ken Caminiti toughness. Beginning at San Jose's Lee High School through a memorable professional career that peaked with the unanimous MVP award and World Series appearance, Caminiti established a standard of rugged perseverance and intensity that the people who witnessed it still speak of with admiration today. All of that was in Caminiti's future, though, when he blossomed as a three-sport star for the Lehigh Longhorns, with football being the game that set the tone for what was to come. He's a defensive back, and he just said he loved hitting. He kind of played baseball in a way with a football mentality. Um, it, was, it was very intense, it was very physical. Baseball, however, would be the sport to which Caminiti gravitated as a college athlete, first at San Jose City College and then at San Jose State. Following his 1984 season with the Spartans, in which Caminiti batted 348 and led the team in every offensive category, he was selected in the third round of the draft by the Houston Astros. After three minor league seasons, he was called up by the Astros and by 1989 had become a lineup mainstay, making his first all-star team in 1994. Oh, yes, Holly Toledo, unbelievable. The play of the game, one of the plays of the year. Great athlete because he's not only a great hitter and hell of a third baseman, but um, switch hitter and managed to um, pull that off with power on both sides of the plate. Caminiti's skills made him even more attractive to the San Diego Padres. They acquired him before the 1995 season in a major trade. Ken was the type of player uh, that just gave you everything he had uh, out on the field. And uh, it was all about winning. Uh, it was all about doing what you uh, can as a teammate, uh, how he dove for the ball. Uh, you know, he sacrificed his body uh, every day for the team. And players saw that. And uh, it just made, made us a different ball club. Very quickly, Caminiti became a San Diego fan favorite and the face of the team. He pushed through injury after injury to help the Padres win. He would play hurt. We all knew it. And I said, listen, you got to be a little more honest with me. I said, you know, if you need a day, whatever, uh, you know, let's take a break. It's going to help us in the long run. And he looked at me and says, you know what, you're right. I'm not going to lie to you as much anymore. And that, that was just him. Caminiti's defensive highlight reel still provokes awe. They showcase why he won three gold gloves. But it was his bat that took him to four All-Star games and in 1996 made him the National League's most valuable player by unanimous vote. Facing one of the most dangerous hitters in baseball now, and there it goes again. It's a seven to six game. Caminiti became the first Padre to hit 40 home runs in a season while batting 326 with 130 runs batted in, all while struggling through a torn rotator cuff injury. Hey, there's a man that we know, Caminiti. He can dive, he can slide, and he's piling up the ribbies. The MVP playing here in our city. Hey, Caminiti! Two years later, Caminiti steered San Diego to a World Series, as much with his clubhouse leadership as his on-field performance. Cobran on the curveball, Caminiti, big time play, throws from his goal, oh, my goodness, what a play. Caminiti's playing style would eventually take its toll. He left the game following the 2001 season. But in 2002, Caminiti struck one final impactful blow. In a magazine interview, he confessed that he had used anabolic steroids to sustain his performance through all those injuries. This was the first time a major leaguer had publicly admitted to taking PEDs, and the response was dramatic. Within months, major league owners and players agreed for the first time to a drug testing protocol. I think a bunch of guys probably saw what happened with him and how it affected his overall health and everything else. I think there's plenty of guys that, you know, that got woken up by that. You know, he owned up to, uh, you know, what happened there with uh, his usage and let's talk about it and let's uh, learn from it. And uh, I really thought, uh, looking back, that was probably the best thing that, that could have happened to baseball at the time. While Caminiti's honesty about steroids helped baseball emerge from a troubled time, he could not overcome other demons and substances that led to his tragic death in 2004 at the age of 41. Here's a glove in my house now that uh, has Kim and Eddie on it that I take a lot of pride in. And this is a man that I know I'll always love and appreciate what he did for me. I named my youngest son after him. 
played third base for his college team and ended up getting drafted and it was a really kind of cool thing for me. Not bragging, not being a dad, but more because it really brought back some memories. Tonight, the San Jose Sports Hall of Fame honors Caminiti as perhaps the best baseball player ever produced by the South Bay and as someone who had impact far beyond the short time he spent on earth. There is toughness and there is toughness. And then there's Ken Caminiti. Each time he put on his uniform, he gave every ounce of that toughness. Every single ounce.